Resistance, however, is useless. 1939 My theory was that what I had to do was make a study of human behavior. You have to remember that I was a bright but simple fellow from Canada who seldom, if ever, met another writer, and then only a so-called literary type that occasionally sold a story and meanwhile worked in an office for a living. In a sense, there's a great truth to that, but also I was a great reader. Well, first of all, going off with Diantics was based upon a thought of mine. I figure that that has a 10-year cycle. At the end of that 10 years, I began to get worried that I would run into what is known as the writer's block, the feeling of not being able to do these things. But, somewhere in there, I did have the thought that this really fits in with my thinking about what I wanted to do, with what has to be done by a writer in order to stay alive as a writer. I first read science fiction in the old British Chum Annual when I was about 12 years old. In those days I was new to covers, merely felt pleased that a story of mine had been honored. I later met Rogers who did some of my early covers and I was impressed with him. Science fiction is a field of writing where, month after month, every printed word implies to hundreds of thousands of people, there is change. Look, today's fantastic story is tomorrow's fact. I had casually rented an apartment that cost $75 a month because I expected my writing to pay my way. When a people lose the courage to resist encroachment on their rights, then they can't be saved by an outside force. Our belief is that people always have the kind of government they want. Recruiting Station was a story that came as the result of many anxious awakenings during many nights. People always have the kind of government they want. When they want change, they must change it. He, had the hard eyes of the disciplinarian and the smile of a man who must be tactful and pleasant to many people. I don't recall having any self-awareness about the intricacy of my stories. It's difficult for me to feel that a solid page without the breakups of paragraphs can be interesting. I break mine up perhaps sooner than I should in terms of the usage of the English language. If I believe the same things today I did yesterday I've learned nothing. It came about as follows, over the years when I was involved in Diantics, I wrote the beginnings of many stories. I would get an idea, and then write the beginning, and then never touch it again. Chum was a British boy's weekly which, at the end of the year was bound into a single huge book, and the following Christmas parents bought it as Christmas presents for male children. The encouragement I got from Campbell was a quick check in praise. Once the Space Beagle was launched on its mission, it seemed natural for it to breed additional thoughts. The right to buy weapons is the right to be free.